My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can convert Excel files, more specifically Excel SX files, to CSV files with Power Automate. So we go to our OneDrive. That's where I store my Excel data. You could easily store your Excel data in, a, in maybe SharePoint or an Outlook mail or whatever. So let's inspect our data. Mine is just called data Excel SX. And you can see that it's just two columns, ID and name with four uh, rows with corresponding data. This sheet could have easily been much bigger, but that's just how it is. I formatted this data as a table called data. So let me close this one down and we go to Power Automate. Then we will click Create. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all my new Power Automate videos that will come up in the next weeks and months. I'll choose Instant Flow. We can call this uh, Excel to CSV and we'll just manually trigger our flow. Usually this one will be a part of a much bigger flow, so like a subflow. First, let me talk about the game plan here. What I want to do is first I want to get some data. I want to get two series of data. Well, it's actually uh, corresponding, but I want to get the table data. That's more uh, what tables is in our sheet. We only have one table now, but we could have had more. And I want to get the table name. Then I want to get all the content of that table, so the rows in the table. Then I want to create a CSV table, and I want to print that CSV table out to a file. So let's walk through it one by one. First we click New Step, and now we could either click our way through the actions, or we could just search up here. I choose to search, so get Tables from Excel Online Business here. The location, well, I have my OneDrive, but again, you could have yours on your SharePoint. The document library, that will just be OneDrive. And then my file, that is in our root. So we click this um, folder thing, and then we click data. So now we got the data that we want about our table. Then we wanna get some data about the content. So choose new step. And we'll say list rows. We will wait a few seconds and it's here. List rows present in the table, like here. And again, the location, OneDrive for business. Document library, OneDrive. The file, that is still the same file. And the table, that one was, I told you, I called it data. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now we got the information that we want. We can create our CSV file. So choose new step, and we'll say, or not the file, but we'll start with a table. So create CSV table under data operation here. Where do we want to create it from? We want to get it uh, from the value, but choose the value from the list rows present in the table. That's the content. So here, this row. So now we print it from here and I want to specify what I want to print because maybe we don't want it all the columns. So we can go here to the advanced options and instead of automatic, we can choose the custom. It's not a problem here, but it could be, so I'll just create it manually, otherwise just choose automatic. So the idea, that one was just the idea. So the corresponding idea and the name, and of course that's just the name column like this. So now we created our CSV file. Then we want to uh, print out a file from the table name, but we could have had more tables. Uh, Power Automate could not know. You can see this says get tables. So we'll choose an apply to each. I know there's only one table here, but that's just a way to do it. So apply to each. What output do we want to get? We want to um, choose the output from the get tables now. So choose that one. And now we get each one of the tables in here. That's basically just what it says. And then we want to create a file. So for each one of this table, we want to create a file. So click add an action, create file. Here, I don't want to create it to my OneDrive. Again, you can choose to create it in SharePoint. Like here, the folder path, I'll just create mine in the root, so a forward slash, the file name. Let's just call it test CSV to begin with, and then I'll show you a smart way to create a more nice name. The file content, that will be the output from the create CSV table that we did up here, so output. And now we are ready to run. We can click save, and then we can run the flow to verify that it indeed work, and then we can make it a little bit nicer. So save and test. 
can log into your sites here or your subscriptions and then we will run it. You can follow the progression as always here. We can see that we're kind of wee, wee, wee. This one is a few seconds slower. But when we are done, I will go to OneDrive and inspect our data. So now we ran it. We can go to OneDrive. We can update our file structure here. And we can see that we indeed created a CSV file called test CSV. We can even open it and verify that we have the data in a CSV format. And that is the case, as you can see here. So let's close it again. And let me uh, edit the flow to make it a little bit nicer. So what we can do here is that we can delete the test here. And instead of uh, this static name, we could have a name that um, have a dynamic name uh, from our uh, table name. We could also have a date, but we won't do it here. So what we do here is that we just take the name from this get tables like here, and this one will create uh, the CSV file with the name of our table. So we can click save again, we can click test, and we can click save and test. Now we run the flow, I click done, and our flow is ran. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new Power Automate videos. So here we can indeed verify that we created a dynamic file name here you can see data CSV we can inspect it and we can see that we have our data again of course that's it